Hey everyone, welcome to Mevin Ka Does Let's Plays. I'm your host, Mevin Ka. This is my um, first, hopefully my first real uh, recording of an actual set of gameplay footage that I can actually post online. I've done like uh, five or six of these now, just as like, a f the first few were practice, and the, the one that I just did that I was hoping to post online, I was interrupted by a phone call reminding me that I had work. Um, so that was awkward. Um, but I'm back now, and I'm still, I'm still employed, don't worry, I wasn't fired. Um, so, uh, today I'm gonna be playing this game, it's called The Binding of Isaac. Um, some of you may have heard of it, it's a pretty cool game. Um, it's, it's actually, it's just a Flash game, actually, um, that's been extended slash broadened to be a full-length game that you can buy on Steam for like a dollar. Um, they're making a remake of it, or a redo of it, rather, um, Edmund McMillan is the guy who made this game. Um, so that's coming out soon, but I'm gonna, you know, do a let's play of this until then. Um, so The Binding of Isaac, uh, for those of you who don't know, is like a vaguely biblical-themed, uh, game about this boy named Isaac whose, um, mother is told by a voice in her head, maybe God, maybe just the crazies, um, telling her to kill her child. And you play as Isaac and you run around inside your basement that you've run away to to try to escape your mother. And um, that's sort of where we start. So I'll start the game as Isaac. There's a bunch of other characters. Most of them are themed after biblical characters. Um, but I'm going to start with Isaac. Um, so as far as gameplay is concerned, uh, it's a, t it's a um, straightforward um, twin stick shooter, as they're called. So I use Wasad to move, arrow keys to shoot. Um, there are items like bombs, um, activated items that go in that big space bar slot at the top. And then there are passive items that I pick up, and the cool thing about this game is that everything is randomly generated. Every map, every floor, every room, every item that I get at the end of each floor, every item that I get at the end of each boss fight, all randomized. Um, and when you die, you die forever and you have to start over, so it's a roguelike in that sense. Um, I really enjoy this game, I've put in a lot of hours, and even though my Steam achievements don't say it because, for whatever reason, achievements kind of get screwed up with this game, I have unlocked all the achievements, and I've beaten this game and gotten 100% of all the content, which takes forever, by the way, a good 300 hours at least of gameplay. Um, I'm still kind of bad at some parts of this game, I'm not going to lie, uh, even though I have put in a lot of hours, because just because you put in hours into a hard game doesn't make you good at the hard game. Um, but I do my best, and so I figure I'll start here. Um, I know there are other people on the internet that, um, do Let's Plays of this game, uh, and I swear I'm not trying to just rip them off, um, I just really like this game, and, um, so I will do other content also, like, I won't only play Binding of Isaac, but, um, so this is kind of the way it works, um, there are a bunch of special rooms, so like this room over here on my left right here is the shop, this room down here I think it's called the curse room because when I walk in I take damage, and, uh, the curse room usually has like this red chest, it's called the devil chest, and it usually has weird ass items. Oh man, I got so this is the first item of the game that I've gotten on this let's play. It's called the Ankh. Um, the little subtext on the bottom says eternal life question mark. And that's because the Ankh makes it so that when I die, um, I'll get respawned as a different character called the Blue Baby. And the Blue Baby, I'll, I'll explain if it happens, but uh, basically it's a cool item. It's not the best item, but it's an item. Um, and as I go along, I'll try to explain what the items that I run into are and stuff like that. Um, oh god, that was bad damage. I should not have taken that. Um, as you may notice, I only have six total hits of damage. I can only get hit six times and then I die. Um, some enemies, um, some attacks will do a whole heart of damage to me. For example, if a bomb explodes on me, that does a whole heart of damage, I believe. Um, but yeah, I can only get hit six times and then I'm dead forever and I have to start over. So, it, you die pretty fast in this game. Um, and, you know, I can still remember when I first started playing this game, um, I was... I, Someone, one of my friends showed me this game, and, um, uh, and he was, he was pretty alright at the game, like, he could, uh, beat the final boss fight at the time, and, uh, and I was like, oh, it looks like a game that I could play, oh, I got a dime, nice, I got ten cents right there, um, and, uh, so I was like, yeah, I can do this, and totally sucked for the first, like, 30 hours that I played this game, I was just, I couldn't get past the first floor, um, that's how bad I was, and I've kind of come a long way since then, but, um, still sometimes have stupid errors and I die a lot and so you know you just have to bear with me so I'm picking up money there's a bunch of consumables in this game that you can get ah, I'm making hand gestures while I talk out of habit but um you know you can't see me so nana nana boo boo um 
So there are a lot of consumables. There's money that you can pick up that you can spend on the shop. So I'm going to buy this item. It's called the Habit, the Nun's Habit. Um, it makes it so that my activated item, the spacebar item up there, um, recharges more whenever I get hit, um, which is actually really helpful. This blue heart is a temporary heart. It's called a spirit heart. I'm not going to pick it up yet because um, red hearts spawn a lot more often than blue hearts, and red hearts are replenishable and blue hearts are not. Um, so I'm going to wait until later to pick up that red heart, I mean that blue heart, excuse me, because I want to save it and keep it for as long as possible. Um, you'll notice that there's poop everywhere uh, in this game. There's a lot of gross things um, you may have noticed, but I am killing things by crying on them. So yes, that's how this game works, you cry on your enemies. Ooh, I love this item. It's called the Sad Onion. Makes me cry a lot faster, so look at that. Now I shoot way faster than I did before, and all because of those nasty, nasty onions. Actually, I'm just kidding. I love onions. I think they're amazing. Um, a lot of people disagree with me, but I say nuts to you, because I think onions are delicious. Um, I also have never cried while slicing an onion. Maybe that's just because I'm slicing it wrong or something, but... Uh, I have never experienced the phenomenon known as crying while cutting an onion. So, anyway, so this is our first boss. I should have let you see the, the name of the boss. His name is the Duke of Flies, uh, which is a pretty apt name for the kind of boss that he is. He just spits out flies all over the place. Um, some of them are bigger than others, so they take more <laughs> they take more tears to, uh, to kill, which is fine by me. Oh, and I killed him. Good, and he left behind a bunch of fly dudes for me to kill. Let's see if I can finish this boss without taking any more damage. Nice! Alright, so this item is the coat hanger. It goes through my head and makes me cry faster. Wow, I'm crying really fast now. That's pretty great. Now, did I want to do anything else? I want to pick up that spirit heart. That's right, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Right, um, so this floor was randomly generated, so the next time I play this game, it will not look like this even a little bit. The items will not be the same. Um, the boss probably won't be the same. Excuse me. I, I got the burps. I drank some soda before I did this, and that was a mistake. Rookie mistake. Um, I've never done a Let's Play, and my setup is pretty... It's pretty cheap. Um, my microphone is not exactly the nicest thing ever. And uh, even though I, I can't... I shouldn't really diss it, because it was a loner from a friend, so I wouldn't even be doing this if it wasn't for my friend. Uh, you go, Tommy. Thank you for loaning me this microphone. Um, let's see here. Kill the uh, popcorn dudes. Picked up two bombs. That's nice. I need some keys though to walk into the item room. So let's hope that I find some soon. Um, this monster. This uh, normally isn't colored red, but he's bigger and redder, which means he has more health and he drops some form of consumable when I kill him. I think though colors might actually correspond to certain kinds of consumables, but I don't know what they are yet because um, for as long as I've been playing this game, I still really don't pay attention to that sort of thing. Um, boy, I could really use a key right about now. Um, I found my boss room, though, which is good. Um, <laughs> I've been playing this game a lot, so I actually have this really bad habit of getting really impatient. And, uh, I run towards my enemies because it makes my tears go towards them faster. And that's not a good habit. You should not do that. Um, okay, so this is the unicorn horn. And I'm not gonna keep it, but when I pick it up, you'll see what it does. It goes in my space bar, and then when I hit space, I get invincible and I do damage to stuff. Um, which is kind of cool, but I don't want it, uh, because I don't think, I, I mean, it's good, but I, I, I want, I want to keep my dice, because the dice allows me to re-roll items like this, and switch them out, ah, oh, Bob's Rotten Head, that's also kind of crappy, Bob's Rotten Head is a, another spacebar item, um, that I don't want, and basically it lets me toss a bomb, um, once every, like, three rooms, like, I can use it and toss a bomb, so... I kind of don't want that because I think it's kind of trash, and I don't like the item that much. I'd rather have the D6 because it allows me to um, re-roll bad items, like that one, and it just increases the odds of getting useful items that actually help you with the game. Oh, okay. These guys shoot sort of in random directions, so sometimes you get hit, sometimes you don't. Okay, I'm really OCD about popping the poop because every once in a while they'll give you a scent, like this one. Um, and money is important at the beginning of the game. Um, so, oh, these guys are annoying. These meat bags are so annoying because they shoot at the same direction. Oh, see, look what I did. Look what I've done! Oh, God, that was awful. I should have moved upwards, not farther laterally. Oh, I've lost my spirit heart. That's disappointing. That is a suicide room, I believe is what it's called. If you walk over the spikes, you take a heart of damage, but at some point you might get a chest. Um, I think it's one of the most useless things in the game. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to re-re-roll the, the rotten head. Um, and hope for something better. Ah, 
I got the raw liver. Nice. So that gives me two extra hearts, and I think it decreases my speed by one. But that is an awesome iron pickup. I am on a roll here. Okay, we're gonna fight Steven. If you know Edmund McMillan games at all, then you will recognize this boss because he actually made a game called Time Fuck. Uh, yes, it's just Time Fuck, but with the C and the K. Like, the word fuck is misspelled, basically, is the point. I actually don't like this boss fight because I find that the little Steven guy, the little guy who's red right now, is really annoying. Oh god, I got hit. That's stupid. He's really annoying because he, like, he, like, jumps in all kinds of weird directions when you hit him up a few times. So it's hard to consistently hit him with your tears. Um, and by hit, I obviously mean cry on. Um, oh, nice. So I got Steven. Um, it says in the corner, it's a damage up. Um, so that's a good item to have. I still didn't get any keys, though, which means that I didn't get to uh, go into my formal item room, which is really disappointing. Um, but I guess that's what happens. Oh, Curse of the Labyrinth. So, so in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see that it says Caves XL. Um, and an XL floor means that it's twice as large, there's two item rooms, there's two boss rooms, and, um, this is just one of the curses, uh, many curses that have, well, I guess there's only three curses, but, um, sometimes when you go to a new floor, you get cursed, and the floor will be, like, way bigger or something, or way harder, um, and you just kind of have to deal with it. That's sort of a big theme in this game, is things get really hard, and you kind of just have to deal with it and suck it up, because this game pulls no punches. Things just get stupid hard. This floor is going to be huge, by the way, so that's going to suck. I really want to find my item room for this, though. So there's a golden chest. It requires a key to open it. I'm not going to do it because I only have one key. So we got some uh, human popcorn and shell guy here. The shell guy is invincible to my shots until I uh, until he opens up. Um, so that's always obnoxious. Um, those spikes will do damage to me if I walk over them. Ooh, this is interesting. So this is a judgment. Um, he's a demon judgment, so he takes, he does damage to me, and then at a certain point he'll spawn items for me, like this one. The Empress card, that's good. Um, I'll explain the cards in just a second. Um, for those of you who know how the Binding of Isaac works, ah, oh, tears downhill, that's bad. Um, I'm sorry if my commentary seems a little boring, but I just gotta make sure that people know what's up. Okay, so that's the Monster Manual. Uh, it's a book that really sucks. It gives you a random familiar, um, a random helper guy, and it's not that useful, so I'm gonna re-roll it and get the Sacrificial Dagger. So now I have a knife that spins around me and does a ton of damage to things that touch me, um, which is a good item to have. Um, it's an item, I like this item. Um, it's not the most, like, Evidently useful item, but I think it's really nice. I cannot believe I took damage right there. Um, I also forgot that I move really slowly now, so that's kind of a bad thing. Anyway, so there are trinkets, the goat hoof, that's in the top left-hand corner. And then there are, like, um, activated consumables, like the tarot cards and the pills that go in the right-hand corner. And the trinkets have random effects. The goat hoof, I think, increases my speed by just a little bit. And the Empress makes it so that I, um, get, like, big and nasty looking and I get more damage for one room. Um, yeah, so that's what those are. Um, that's good. The TNT will help me in this room pretty quickly. Um, that's good. That's good. Okay, so now I have... I need to get health is what I need. And I guess I'll pop this open because I have more... The world! Okay. Reveals the entire map. Gotta do it because it's useful. Um, and let's see. I think there's a heart over here, so I'm gonna go grab it. Um, yes. I'm kind of low on health because I played that judgment, but hopefully it ends up working out. So I think I need, I need to go this way to go to my item room, so I'll just do that. Ah, these flies suck. I hate these fat flies because, ah, oh, I always get hit by them. I'm, like, not smart enough to not get hit by those things. Um, let's blow this up and let's move on. More shell guys. It's really obnoxious. I still shoot pretty fucking fast, even though I got that tears down pill. Wow, I dodged into that. I am, mm, that's frustrating. That's okay. Um, so yeah, these are, I think they're called like moblins or something. Um, they regenerate, which is annoying. Uh, oh god, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Okay, good. Oh god. Um, um, what's this pill do? I don't know yet. Rolling the dice. Bombs are key. I had the same number of bombs and keys, so it actually didn't do anything for me. Um, this is Roid Rage, so it increases my speed and the range of my tears, and makes me look like a fucking crazy person, so that's kind of cool. I could use another key, though, so, oh god, this room's gonna suck. These, uh, these silkworms are so annoying because they charge at you, and sometimes you get put in these really restrictive, like, hallways, and 
it's really hard to dodge. This room wasn't too bad, but sometimes it gets kind of ridiculous how impossible it is to dodge these things. Um, heart is good. I guess I'll go towards the boss. Oh shit, that was annoying. Oh my god, I cannot believe I took that damage. That's one problem with having speed up, um, because what happened there was I tried to dodge range down. Damn, I'm getting some crap ass pills here. I think I'm gonna actually go this way, because I think I need more health before I go fight my boss. So I'm gonna go try and clear out the rest of the floor and hope for some more health. Um, I suppose with this little bit of health, it's possible that I'm gonna die, um, this early on my first Let's Play, which would be a little embarrassing, yeah. Um, um, that's a good red heart, I don't want that. Um, so let's kill these fat silkworms, they shoot shit at me. Okay, let's go down here. Um, oh, okay, these guys shoot more, but you can actually hit them in the skull, which is always nice, because waiting for them to pop up can be a bitch sometimes. Okay, that key is inaccessible to me, because I can't cross over these gaps. Um, you might be wondering what that black question mark is on the, um, on the map that's right next to me, or I guess now it's like kind of diagonally above me. That's the secret room. They are secret rooms in this game. And, uh, let's see here. Tears down. Do not want... Um, let's go blow up this room. So if you use a bomb, you can open up secret rooms. Um, but usually you don't know where they are. One up. Is that worth it? I can re-roll it. No, I'm just gonna take it. One up is good. One up is good. Uh, it does exactly what you think it does. Um, and I have a key now, so now I can go back to my other item room and hope for something useful. Right. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the way Binding Wise it goes. Um, if you haven't played this game, I I want to say that I recommend it, but honestly, it might just be that I have a fanatical obsession with this game because I've played it so many times. Um, okay, this is the deck of cards, so I will use it once to see if I get a good card. Two of diamonds, doubles the amount of money I have. I'm going to use it right now. Uh, Empress card, I'll take that back. And now I'll re-roll this. And I get the Necronomicon. So this book, um, when I use it, it's an activated item. It does damage to all the enemies in the room. Which is useful, but not that great. It doesn't do that much damage. Um, it does pretty good damage to minor monsters, but if you're like fighting a boss, the Necronomicon does almost no damage to bosses. So I guess I'm just going to keep going um, to clear the rest of this floor, because I really want to find some more health, and maybe this human popcorn can help me out. Um, I borrow a lot of- I don't know if they're actually called human popcorn, I just know that the- I don't know what to call most of these enemies, I just know that the guy who I watch stream, Northern Lion, calls them human popcorn, so I just call them that, because why the hell not? Um, that's good, my sacrificial dagger that time actually did work for me, and- Ah, oh, that's shitty. I f that up real bad. Um... Well, shit, I might die soon, and I guess it's good that I have the 1-up, because uh, on the floor that I got it, I might be able to use it and uh, get some health back, but that's disappointing if I die here. Um, I guess I'm just going to hope that I know how to kill the boss easily, and it's not a stupid hard boss. Um, I'm getting some lag here, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, up we go. Oh god, I'm the worst. Uh, please don't take any more damage, Kevin. Uh, just play cool, just play cool. Okay. And Silkworm's dead! Okay. Flat Penny is good. So the Flat Penny is a trinket, and it gives me a 50% chance of getting a key every time I pick up a penny. So, or, oh god, oh god, oh god. Why? Why? I have so little health. This could be the end of everything that I love. Okay. Um, health. Nope. Bombs. Well, that fucking sucks. Um, wow. I'm totally gonna die, aren't I? This is really di d disappointing. I did not want to lose the 1-up so fast. Um, here's what I'm gonna do, though. I have a re-roll now. I haven't even paid attention to that, so I'm gonna go re-roll this. And I get the odd mushroom. Um, it increases my damage, which is good, and it gives me an empty heart container, which normally wouldn't be so bad, but I'm down to literally the last touch before death. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. Um, first off, I'm going to use these two bombs to get these bombs. Um, so, um, you may, it may not have been obvious before, but you can blow up these rocks next to the gaps, and they'll cross the gaps for you. It took me, by the way, forever to realize you could do that, so, uh, if 
that wasn't obvious that that was something you could do. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, so I have half a heart left, which normally sucks. It does suck, but it opens up this room. This is a mob trap room. Oh, but the item in it sucks. Uh, I guess I'll skip it then. Or maybe I could re-roll it if I don't die here. Yeah, I'll, I'll just try this. Oh god, I'm gonna die here. Sweet. Sweet Lord Jesus. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Just play it cool. Just play it cool. Oh god. I almost dodged right into that. Okay. Okay. That one's dead. That one's dead. Oh! And I got a half heart. Oh my god. That was scary. Okay. So I'm gonna, cause the, the, the dice recharges every, um, every three rooms, so I'm gonna clear these last, oh, that's it. I was gonna clear these last three rooms and try and get, um, um, get enough charges for my D6, but now I see that's not gonna be an option. And see, there's the flat penny paying for itself, and I got so much money there that now I have to go to the shop, which is a good thing. I can probably buy a heart there too, which will be nice. Um, I guess I'll go into this last room and just charge up my- Oh my god, I hate these things. Whew, okay. Man, my dodging is just on point today. And mostly because I'm under pressure to not majorly screw up my first Let's Play. Um, okay, let's go to the shop. Um, generally you don't want to go into the shop unless you have more than uh, 15 cents or more because the item that's like the most useful always costs about 15 cents. Um, that's the coin purse. So it just gives me a bunch of pills. Um, they might suck, but let's give it a shot. Range down, that's gonna suck. This one I don't know. Range up. Uh, tears down pills. Definitely don't want those. Um, I will buy the heart, and I'll buy the spirit heart. And now I'll go fight the boss. I think is what I'm gonna do. So now my chances have improved significantly after just going to the shop and clearing some rooms. And I would, you know, I don't like to toot my own horn, but th that dodging was pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with my performance there. Um, that bomb is useless. Alright, now we're gonna fight Peep. Peep is kind of obnoxious. I'll use my card. It gives me more damage. It makes me huge. And I think it increases my speed too. So Peep's whole deal is that he shoots out his annoying eyes that bounce around, and then he like, oh god damn it. God damn it. Oh, I forgot I had the miter, so, oh. Hi. Oh god, oh god. Okay, gotta be careful. The nice thing is that the, like, little piss balls that he shoots move really slowly. Okay, good. So, I get another heart, I get another health up, which is always nice. And now I'm gonna fight the next boss, which is, uh, Gertie. And Gertie just sort of spits shit like this. He stays stationary, which is nice, because I don't have to dodge anything, so he's pretty predictable shots. Like that. Oh, 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 no, no, good. You know, if I get close to him, I can actually hit, hit him with a knife, but I'm scared like that, um, because I, I'm worried that uh, I'll take damage from him, which is exactly what happened. Oh, oh, some pro dodges there. Man, I really wish I hadn't taken that damage, because, uh, that's just interesting. That's okay, though. And he's about to die. Oh, took some last bit of damage right there. Um, so this is another HP upgrade. I guess I'll take it, because it heals me quite a bit, too. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. So I have a D6 charge now. Um, and I guess I could have done this earlier, but, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the mob trap room down there. Oh, backtracking is so boring. I'm sorry. I'll try to make my commentary extra fun now since I'm just walking through a bunch of empty rooms to get to this place. Um, so I'm going to go back to that room with the star in it and the red sword. I mean, you can't really see the sword. Um, that mob trap room. And, uh, hopefully the item I get will be good and you can kind of see what happens when you go into a mob trap room. Um, but... Yeah. Oh, wait, I can't go- Oh, man, I'm dumb. So you can only go in there if you have uh, one heart or less, and I definitely don't have that, so I just wasted everyone's time. Congratulations. Go, Kevin. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see here. Let's go down here and over here. Um, you can fly in this game if you get certain items and you're really lucky. You can get the ability to fly. That is not something that I have currently, so sucks to be me, but yep, here we go, down to the depths. And uh, so here we go, um, new floor, oh, these enemies suck. And the reason why they suck is because they bounce around everywhere and they go to where you last were, 
and they shoot in a, um, in, oh god, see, look at that. It's just hard to dodge them. They're, the angle that they, when they fall down, they shoot in that, like, cross pattern, and that is actually, like, one of the hardest things to dodge ever. Oh wait, no, I want this, because I want the keys. Um, I'm gonna pick this up. Okay, now do I want... So the Ace of Spades increases the chances that I pick up um, tarot cards. Um, but I think I want the Flat Penny because I don't have a very high number of keys and I want that to change. Um, okay, these guys leave behind like nasty like creep on the ground. And Oh, got some lag there. Uh, and if I run over it, then I take damage, so I kind of want to avoid that. Okay, let's blow these guys up before they get huge, please. Oh god, scary ride. Okay, um, good. So I want to blow up this tinted rock right here. It's like differently colored, and that means that it has items in it. And I got a spirit heart. Um, I'd say that's worth it. I only have one bomb left, though. That's kind of disconcerting. Um, bombs are really useful, so let's go. Um, let's go to the left. Can't go wrong with that. Um, oh, 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 oh. Okay. These zombies are kind of hard to kill. Um, the knife. Oh shit. Um, God, dang, that's annoying. Um, so yeah, they. They're invincible in one direction, so you kind of have to, like, convince them to go one way, and then, um, just kill them. Oh my god! That is frustrating. Okay, good. Just this last sucker left. Now, um, so they'll turn around and respond to you, which is annoying. I'm getting some weird frame rate drops. That's obnoxious. Um, oh boy, this room is gonna be interesting. So, if I drop a bomb there... Good, I didn't hurt myself. There's a tinted rock down there in the corner-ish, so I kind of want to get... That. Okay, let's blow this up. And let's get these. And let's get this. And what did I get? I got two spirit hearts for my trouble. That was worth it for sure. Um, so let's go. We're not gonna go in the shop because I don't have enough money to make it super worthwhile, and I don't have that many keys yet, so I'm just gonna just sort of play it safe. Okay, so this is like a mini form of a boss called Fistula. Um, but um, it's not that hard to kill. I did take damage from the silkworm, though, because I'm the worst! Um, so let's see here. Okay. Die, silkworms! Um, I've been really desensitized to the imagery in this game, but it actually, I guess if you're new to this game, it probably looks disgusting. Oh, health down! That's annoying. I have so much health, though, that's not a huge deal, but I, I'd rather not have health down pills in the rotation. Oh, right, so the way pills work, I didn't really explain this. Um, like most things in this game, it's random. There's like five, there's, uh, there's like a dozen pill effects that could possibly, that could possibly happen. And the game assigns like five randomly at the start of the game. And they can be good, they can be really shitty, like held down. Um, and it just sort of depends on how lucky you are. I got a free key out of that. And, uh, let's see here. Blowing up this tinted rock. And I got a bomb back and another blue heart. Um... Okay. Josh, you heading out to softball? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, we're going to the Oh, shit. You guys are going to the Av? Yeah. Oh. Turkey? What? Are we going to go get dinner? I think so. I hope so, because that's kind of like swing, but I guess we're going to just kind of walk around, too. All right. Uh, well, so... Yeah, I'm recording in my dorm room, so shit happens around me. Uh, so I'm gonna pause, and uh, when I get back, we will finish this run. So, yeah, BRB. What's up, everyone? I'm back. I just had dinner. Sorry for the interruption. Um, but, uh, <laughs> since I am recording exactly where I live and I have no other place to do it, things happen, and sometimes I have to leave. So, my apologies. But let's continue. Let's see here now. Where were we? Oh, that's right. We look disgusting and gruesome, and... I have two lives, and I'm still looking for a boss. Oh, God. I just, like, spent good... Oh, don't take damage. Oh, whew, whew, whew. That, I'm actually pretty proud of that. Um, now, do I want to go in there? Probably not yet. I'm going to just look for the boss room. Um, I'm not going to go secret room hunting just because um, I don't really want to use my bombs when I could probably be putting them to better use somewhere else. Um, oh, I have enough damage now. Oh, good. That's right. I picked up the odd mushrooms, and now I actually have pretty good damage, um, all things considered. Um, oh, this room normally sucks, but because I have enough damage, I don't think it'll be too bad. 
Uh, oh, I got a key from that. I should probably go up. Zombie brain dudes. Oh, oh, that sucks. Um, no, I think I want to keep the flat penny actually. Even though, so Isaac's head is a trinket that replaces the flat penny, um, and it would make a little like familiar, kind of like the rainbow baby that I picked up. Um, and he'd follow me around and shoot stuff. So, um, it's useful, but I kind of like the idea of getting more keys better. Um, let's kill this fistula guy. Uh, all these stupid silkworms. Oh my god, I almost took damage right there. That was scary. Um, okay, good. And that's it. So I guess I'll go fight the boss. Not sure who it's gonna be yet. Let's see here. And it's Gish! Also from another Emmy McMillan game. Um, once again, for those who don't know, I think I might have already said that Emmy McMillan is the guy who makes this game, or who made this game, rather. Um, he also made, uh, Super Meat Boy. I don't know, that's pretty famous, I guess. Like, it's probably his most popular game? I don't know for certain, but anyway. Uh, one thing that's bad about Little Gish, or about Gish, is that he always gives the same item, Little Gish, and those kinds of items, you can't re-roll with the dice, so I'm just gonna have to pick up a Little Gish after this, um, which isn't bad. Gish is a good item, um, because it slows down enemies, um, and slowing them is actually really useful, just because, um, like, you can see, my Rainbow Baby applies a slow, um, randomly, um, and you can see how useful it is. It stops him from doing stuff. Okay, so there's a little Gish monster right here. I'll take that, and we'll go into this devil room. And what do we have here? We have... Let's see here. The Mark of the Beast. And... The Tail. I think I'm gonna re-roll this, actually. And I get the Nail and the Pact. So I'm actually gonna get both the Nail and the Pact. Um... So the nail is an active item, it replaces my dice, and it gives me a soul heart whenever I use it, and it makes me big and like I can stomp on rocks and stuff, I'll show you later. The pact makes it so that I shoot way faster and I get um, a little bit of extra damage, which is nice. Um, I don't know why I went into this room, it was totally unnecessary, I probably should have used that, but that's okay, I had an awesome uh, chain reaction right there. Um, and I got a chest with a bunch of money in it. And I just picked up a ton of keys. So, if I can, I want to get just two more cents and go into the shop, and, uh, there's one. Let's see if the secret room is right here. I don't know if it is, but it might be. Nope, but I did get the scent, so that was not poorly played on my part. It might be up here. The secret room is always, like, in the intersection of a bunch of rooms. Like, it's always surrounded by, like, three or four rooms. So, you can usually limit down which possible places the secret room are by doing that. There we go, I found it. Um, and I got just enough money. Um, and more keys. I love the flat penny. Um, it's such a good item. I think it is, at least. Um, so yeah, one of the cool interactions is, if you remember, I got the miter in a sh or not the miter, the nun's habit in a shot. Uh, you can't see it anymore because of the visual glitch that happens when you pick up some of these items, like it overrides others. Oh, I got the read, of course. What was I thinking? Um, but anyway, so the nice thing is that with the nun's habit, I recharge my item whenever I, um... I recharge my item whenever I get, uh, whenever I get hit, and one of the things that the nail does is it makes it so that I get a blue heart, a temporary heart, so, um, for the next little bit, I can actually go health neutral in every floor, because every time I take a heart's worth of damage, I can replenish that heart by using the nail, um, because of the fact that I have the nuns have it, and it charges my items when I take damage, um, so we're just gonna keep going. Uh, looks like everything's in order here, so I'm just gonna jump down to the next floor. Um, I still have the one up, which is great. Oh, Curse of Darkness, that sucks, no map. Uh, I'll activate this because I want the blue heart whenever I can possibly get it. Oh, I took damage from that? Um, that's a little frustrating, but that's okay, I guess. Um, I still gained health, I just didn't gain as much as I wanted to. Oh, nope, 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 oh man. Okay, uh, Curve Horn increases my damage as a trinket, so I will definitely take that over this one. Oh, this guy sucks. Come on, Gish, slow him down. Okay, that's good. And if I take any more damage, I'm definitely going to get my, um, nail recharged. Um, so I'll use that. Oh, man. Really? 
Um, so yeah, this is what the nail does. I get to walk on rocks and blow them up. It's kind of cool. Um, a little silly. Oh, is this a shop? A uh, ladder. Yes, I do want that, actually. Um, and do I want that bomb? You know, so after this floor, there are no more shops, so might as well buy it. Um, because money doesn't really help me that much after this floor. Anyway. Oh, that was a good chain reaction. Now I had some, uh, frame rate drop there. Tears down! Not really that good, so I'm just gonna skip it. Holy shit! Okay, I just got the mutant spider. Um, quad shot. Oh yeah. This game just got a lot better. Wow, that's sweet. Uh, I really lucked out there. Um, so like I said, this game, lots of random numbers. Maybe that suits your fancy, maybe you don't like it as much. I think it's great. Okay, okay, I should have taken damage there. I'm actually a little impressed that I didn't. Um, money, which isn't that useful, and the bomb, which is... Um, I am kind of lost now. I lost track of where I was supposed to be. Uh, oh, I should have used my nail. I'll use it now, I guess. Damn it, that was derpy. Um... The thing uh, that I should get in the habit of doing is whenever I have the nail charge and there are enemies in the room, I should use it because that way when I end the room, I can um, I can uh, I can get a nail a new nail charge as fast as possible. I have no idea where I am, um, and I have this moon card that I might as well use. Oh god damn it! I killed that thing too fast, um, faster than I was expecting, and it actually did damage to me, um, which is a little unfortunate. Um, okay, I have the nail again. So I just keep going. Oh, I found the boss. I don't know how I did that, but I found it. Um, which is great. Uh, good news, everyone. Uh, wow, I am a powerhouse right now. That was such a good pickup. Now, here's the real question. Do I use the moon? Or do I... I use the moon now. I got Dad's key. Dad's key unlocks rooms. Um, and I'm not really interested in it because it would replace my nail. And I'd much rather have the nail um, than Dad's key. Just because in the long term it will help me better. So I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I remember this. So I think if I just go right... And down. There we go. Yep, perfect. Okay, now we're going to fight Mom. So this is the first real boss fight in the game. And when you just start this game, this is the only boss fight that there really is. Um, but as I'll explain in a little bit, there are actually more boss fights than just um, the Mom boss fight. Um, that occur basically from completing a large portion of the game. Like, as you complete more of the game, the game unlocks more difficult content for you to do. Oh, I got Squeezy, nice. So Squeezy increases the rate of fire. I feel like I'm maxed pretty soon. And I got the Polaroid. Now, the Polaroid's really important because, um, you have to be holding the Polaroid to get to the very final level of this game, which is, um, which is the depth, uh, which is the, the chest. And I'll explain that in a second. Um, so I'm gonna jump down past the depths, Normally, if I ha if I just started playing this game, killing mom would be like beating the game and I'd be done. Um, so now I'm in the womb, or in utero one as it's called, which is pretty nasty, but you should be used to it by now in this game. Um, yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh god, this room is here. Oh, one of the things about the womb is that now all enemies do- oh my god, this is awesome. All enemies do a whole heart of damage to me no matter what, which sucks. Um, I also got this tarot card called the Hierophant, or the Hierophant, um, and it gives me two spirit cards when I use it, so that's pretty neat. Um, so it looks like I'm actually, like, overloading on, on hearts, and it's true, actually. Um, the game lets you get more hearts than are, dis than are allowed to display. Um, this apparently is a glitch, and not something that the creator of the game actually wanted. So apparently this is not going to last, and will be gone in the next, like, sort of remake of the game, I guess. Or rehash of the game. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, don't want to hit by that. If I can avoid it, good. Um. Okay. Um. Come on, just die. Oh. oh. Okay. That's a doppelganger. He's a really annoying enemy. Sorry, I was like focusing really hard there for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> I love the noise these things make when you walk over.